All right, welcome back to Niners Nightly. Larry Kruger with you on KMBR's YouTube channel. We're 45 minutes into our one-hour extravaganza, and we're here in this window from 6 to 7 o'clock uh, on KMBR's YouTube channel um, Monday through Friday from 6 to 7 when we're not on the radio. Eventually, it will be on both YouTube and the radio when Giants baseball uh, comes to a conclusion, which will be here in the next week or so. Um, so you'll be able to catch this on the radio from six to seven and we'll take a lot more phone calls. It'll be a lot more interactive as we go throughout the season, but we're starting early in the year with lots of these shows on YouTube. And of course I do the Krug show on YouTube all the time. So I'm a big fan of, uh, of getting on YouTube and, and doing our thing. And, and, um, this segment, the final segment tonight, I want to get into, okay. I complained about the offense. I complained about the defense. I complained about the special teams. How about some freaking solutions? You know, don't just be a problem guy. Don't just sit there. Anybody can, you know, bitch, but can you, can you actually come up with solutions that will help the team? You know, is there anything that you can, you can add to the mix? All right, let's get to the solutions. Let's get to the solutions. All right. And some of them are going to be harsh. I, you know, I'll freely admit number one, I think you got to cut Ronnie Bell. I think you got to cut Ronnie Bell. Um, bottom line is he, he's a redundant, he's a redundant part, your wide receiver core more so than your running back group, more so than your tight end room, more so than your safety room or corner room. The, the, the wide receiver room has to complement one another, complement one another. So Ronnie Bell has got to complement the other receivers in the room. Well, the, there's not a lot of speed in that room. Debo's not a burner. Uh, Chris Conley ran really well once upon a time, but he's an older player now, special teamer, not not a burner per se. He's quick, but he's not a burner. Um, Ayuk is, you know, decent speed, but he doesn't look as explosive as he has in the past. Um, and Jacob Cowing is your vertical speed, but he's not playing right now because Kyle says he's not ready. And then you have Terrace Marshall on the practice squad who runs four three seven, and you have you're sitting there with Ronnie Bell, and Ronnie Bell is on this team because he's got really good ball skills, but he hasn't demonstrated those ball skills all summer. He really hasn't. He has not looked like the same player he looked like last summer. This summer, uh, he doesn't make the same catches. He doesn't have the same ball skills. He's not as automatic. It's like his it's like his ball skills have have regressed, and he doesn't have the same kind of hands. So move number one is you can't have redundant parts and you can't have wide receivers that can't run when your other wide receivers can't run. If you had Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill and you have one spot on your wide receiver core and you want to give it to Ronnie Bell, go for it. That, that works. He'll move the chains. Those guys will, you know, give you the chunk yard, chunk yardage plays that you that you need. Um, but if you're the Niners and you have Debo and Ayuk and Kittle and and you know Pierce Saul and, and guys that you know move okay but don't you know aren't there, there's no burners there then guess what you need that that spot to be you know to go to somebody who can really take the top off the defense um so to me I'm cutting Ronnie Bell and I'm promoting Terrace Marshall off the practice squad I watch these guys practice all the time Ronnie Bell does a little bit better of footwork and getting his feet down on the sideline. He's really pretty, pretty good about that. But Marshall is a pro Marshall's bigger, stronger, faster, more explosive and younger. That's the other thing. Terrace Marshall is actually younger than Ronnie Bell. I know most people would be like, what? Terrace Marshall has been in the league like four years. Ronnie Bell is like a rookie last year. I know, but Terrace Marshall is literally like six or seven months younger um, than, than, than Ronnie Bell. So Marshall's younger, bigger, stronger, faster. That's it. And I'd play Jacob Cowing. You you drafted this guy. He's got four three speed. There's a reason you drafted him because he fits. He complements what you have. You don't have guys with four three speed. Well, you do now. Play Jacob Cowing. All right. So that's move number one and one A. Cutting Ronnie Bell, calling Terrace Marshall off the practice squad. Um, and I'm playing Jacob Cowing more. Like right away. Number two, um, 
I don't think I, I think I'm making a move in the backfield. I think I'm I'm moving on from Patrick Taylor and adding kind of a more of a speedy running back who can be more of a dynamic playmaking game breaker. I'm thinking of the kid for the New York Giants, Dante Miller, who played at South Carolina, who runs, you know, high four twos, low four threes, a real burner. You know, I mean, it, 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 Patrick, you have you have a big back. His name's Jordan Mason. You have another big back. It's Garendo. Um, what you really need is a speed back. You need somebody that if you put them out, out in the pattern that people would be like, uh Oh, don't let that guy don't miss that tackle. That guy's taking it to the house. They don't have that. They got Patrick Taylor and they don't play, seem to play him very much. So uh, to me, I don't think Taylor, I don't think you can have Taylor. I think you got to have a replace Taylor with a speedy playmaking, uh, running back that can catch the ball to the backfield to be explosive. Um, and there's a bunch of guys out there, and Dante Miller is one of them. All right, that's number two. Number three, um, everything on defense is rush and cover. So you got to put on a rush, and then you got to cover behind that. And the Niners have a bunch of young DBs. Look at the look, Jair Brown, kid, Malik Mustafa. He's a kid. He's a rookie. Um, you know, you look around. They got a lot of young guys. They got a lot of young corners. They got a lot of young safeties. They have invested in the draft three years in a row and a lot of DBs. So they got a lot of young guys. How are you going to develop young DBs? Get a pass rush. A DB's best friend is a pass rush. And Hassan Reddick is out there. Now, I know Hassan Reddick, you know, the whole talk is, well, he wants a contract extension. He's not getting one. He's not getting one. He didn't get one from Philly. He's not getting one from the Jets. He's probably not getting one from anybody who trades for him. So if he can get realistic and just acknowledge that he's not getting a big extension, at least not till the offseason, Asan Reddick is a speed rusher that would look really nice opposite Nick Bosa. And if you could put heat on some quarterbacks, because um, Floyd did it in week one, he hasn't done it the last two weeks. And look at the difference. Week one, it seemed like Rodgers had no time. The last couple of games, the quarterbacks had way, way too much time. So they need another defensive end, and Reddick is available. You could probably get him for a third or a fourth round pick. Um, you're inside your Super Bowl window. You got seven young DBs that all need to develop, and they're going to lose confidence if you don't get a better pass rush. So I'm pulling the I'm I'm pulling the trigger on a on a Hassan Reddick deal third round pick fourth round pick some combination thereof whatever um i'm 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 going after reddick the other guy i'm going after especially with no uh Javon Hargrave is DJ Jones if i can get DJ Jones for a day 3 pick i think i'm doing it I, Evan Anderson is out of shape you can go with TY McGill but he's a one gap penetrator you got to have somebody who who can stand up against the inside run and give you a little a little quickness and dj jones can do that he's got quickness he's got strength he's enormously strong probably one of the strongest players in the history of the 49ers um denver's still very much in kind of a next year type mode i think you could probably get him he's a free agent at the end of the year um i'd be all in all all about a day three pick for dj jones all right pick number or uh, move number five i hate to say it because i just interviewed him the other day and i liked him but I'd cut Devondre Campbell for a faster, younger linebacker who can run. Um, the guy that comes to mind is Jalen Deloach, who played at Florida State and runs in the four fours, and he was in Tampa this summer. And I think he got cut at the cutdown. He might be on Tampa's practice squad. We'll have to see about that. But Kalen Deloach is a guy that I'd be interested in. Just any linebacker with legit speed. You know, legit speed. Um, there's a bunch of guys around the league that you could probably get. But a, a faster linebacker that can do a better job in pass coverage than Javondre Campbell. I think Campbell, he, you know, he doesn't, I, I just don't think he's the guy. I don't think he's the guy uh, long term. I don't think he's the guy this year. I think Green Bay got rid of him for a reason. They saw real regression. And the Niners were like, ah, come on over here. And once again, I mean, he's just, he doesn't have good numbers against the run or the pass. So Campbell, I would definitely cut for a younger, faster linebacker. And there are guys out there. There are guys out there. Number six, I bench Isaac Yadam for Renardo Green, and I'm promoting Darrell Luter off the practice squad. Luter's got to play. Luter's too big, too athletic, too talented, too, too skilled to just sit there mired on the practice squad. 
Uh, this guy played a ton of press man at South Alabama. He was the Jaguars best press man defender. Um, he can play man to man and he's big. He's rangy. I don't think he even has any idea how talented he is. He's an enormous talented corner with legit size and arm length. Um, I'm definitely playing him more off the, I'm, I'm calling him off the practice squad. I'm activating him, but I'm starting Renardo green up on the outside opposite Mooney, leaving Lenore in the slot and putting Yadam on the bench. I think, you know, Yadam runs in the mid four fives and he doesn't break down against double moves. Renardo green, on the other hand, runs, you know, sub four five. And I think has a has a lot more potential as a coverage guy, so I'm definitely making that move. And then um, the last move I would make is, you know, obviously you need a defensive tackle. I would promote Kalia Davis off the IR when he's ready, or I'd promote T. Y. McGill from the practice squad. Evan Anderson, I think he's in a red shirt year, so I don't think you know he's coming off the practice squad. But maybe McGill could give you some pass rush. He definitely is. You know, he's 290 pounds. Um, he can rush the passer a little bit. He can play the run a little bit. He's more of a one gap penetrator than a, than a, you know, than a, than a, you know, a a nose guard or any kind of guy who's going to really anchor against the run. But, um, I'd also look on the practice squad for defensive linemen. I mean, the Niners need defensive linemen. Um, and there's gotta be somebody out there that they could probably add that would help their situation a little bit. Um, that's going to do it. That's going to do it for, for tonight. So, those are the moves I'd make. And once again, just to, you know, to summarize, cut Ronnie Bell, promote Terrace Marshall off the practice squad, play Jacob Cowling a whole lot more, cut Patrick Taylor, look for some speed off the practice squad or off the free agent market. Uh, somebody who's more dynamic at running back that you could throw the ball to and he could make a big play. Uh, I would trade a day three pick for Hassan Reddick. I would trade another day three pick for DJ Jones. I'd cut Devondre Campbell for a faster linebacker who could be better, more of a more of a coverage uh, strength linebacker, not a coverage liability linebacker. Um, I'd bench Isaac Yottam for Renardo Green. I would use Darrell Luter and activate him on game days off the practice squad. I'd promote Kalia Davis when he's ready, but until then, uh, I'll go with T.Y. McGill um, off the practice squad. But I'm looking around for interior guys and you know, I might even look to uh, to make a trade there if I thought the right guy was out there. So, you know, we'll see what they do. We'll see what they do. Uh, it's early in the year, but it gets early late, as they say, right? And things, it gets from early to late very, very, very quick. 